Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about how to construct a dilation. So here's our setup, we are going to dilate triangle PQR with a scale factor of two. Okay, so we want K to equal two. So we're gonna start off with our triangle and then we want a point that we are going to um, use as our center of dilation. So here I'm gonna use this point, call it point C. And the first thing that we wanna do is draw some arrays that go through each of our vertices and through our center of dilation. Okay, so I'm gonna draw some arrays here that extend out. And basically this is gonna be our marker or kind of our line just to make sure we keep our vertices in the correct line as we dilate our triangle. Okay, so now our last one here will be through point P. All right. Okay, so now we have our rays drawn there. We're gonna take our compass and we are going to put the needle at point C, our center of dilation, and then we're gonna put the, the pencil end on each of our vertices. And basically we're gonna measure that distance. And then we're gonna take that distance and we're going to shift our needle to the vertice and draw um, a little arc out on our ray, which would essentially act as twice the distance, okay? So I'm gonna start with points point P here. So we'll put our compass there. Okay, we got our marking. So now I'm just gonna take my compass and put the needle on P and make a little arc out here. Okay, so now we've got that vertice there. We can call this, we can put a point here and we're gonna call that P prime. Now we're gonna measure the distance from C to Q. So just a little bit wider. C to Q, good. So now we're gonna take that distance. Now put the needle on Q. And we're gonna make just a little arc out here. Okay, so now we can put a vertice there and call that Q prime. And lastly, we're gonna measure the distance from C to R. And we're gonna bring that out here, needle at R, and we make our arc right there. And we put our vertice right here and we call this R prime. And so now we can connect the vertices of P prime, Q prime, and R prime to make our new triangle that has been dilated by a scale factor of two. Connect P prime and Q prime. And the last one we will connect is R prime to Q prime. Okay, so now we have our dilated shape and if we wanted to maybe add a little bit of color to that, just to kind of show the two different shapes. Okay, here was our, our pre-image, right? Or our original shape. Sometimes I'll call this like the, the old shape. Old shape, original shape, pre-image. Okay, something along those lines. And then our resulting image Right, is now this bigger triangle here that has been dilated by a scale factor of two. Okay, so we'll make it yellow here. There we go. Okay. And that is how we dilate a shape with a specific scale factor using a compass, okay? So we can shade that in a little bit the rest of the way. And now we can see our two shapes. Okay. And we started off with triangle PQR and we dilated triangle PQR with a scale factor of two, which essentially means we're gonna take each of its sides and we're gonna double them, right? Each of those sides, we're gonna double them. And that results in our triangle P prime, Q prime, R prime. 